everyone, Six Figure Family, and welcome back to this video. Do you need 100 leads? Do you need 100 ideas? Well, do your DDFF. We're going to do one together. Whenever I have breakfast with my brother, we're working out ideas. I'm like, how do we get more traffic? He's always, do your DDFF, or I'll say to him, do your DDFF, because that's where it starts. It's that the DDFF, the dreams, the desires, the fears, the frustrations, that's literally what's going to power your headline generator, which is going to power your leads, and stay tuned because you're about to get buckets of value. We're gonna do this together. So, um, I'm using my brother's computer, so excuse kind of like me kind of fumbling my way around it. Insert, um, whatever. I'm just gonna to go to the next page and say, for relationships, for relationships and health, they tend to be like the, um, the biggest thing that you guys pick as a niche. I'm going to choose a smaller font just to make it all fit. So please, thank you for your um, <laughs> understanding of the clunkiness of this video. But what I'm going to give you is 100 ideas for relationships and 100 ideas for health. So get married, find a partner, fall in love, find a date, communicate better. Um, feel beautiful, um, be respected, be loved back, be admired, seen as a role model, have more friends, share my wins, friends who love what I love. These are literally things, ideas that people use to work out their headlines. Like, these are like things people complain about. Instead of you going, I'm a hypnotherapist, buy my hypnotherapy. These are ideas to think from the other person's point of view. I'm just brainstorming with you. Um, travel with friends. Have kids. Another relationship goal. Be remembered. Give back or contribute. Share what I love. Okay, my spelling. But remember, like, in our ClickFunnels challenge, whether you're using ClickFunnels, whether you're using Thrive, or any tool that's right for you, the whole point, besides having a beautiful visual design that's nice and clear and uncluttered, is make sure that your um, headline is spot on. There's a promise to fix a problem. Promise to fix a problem from your DDFF. That's how you get killer headlines. That's how you get 100 leads in a week. Um, so, be held. Sex, it has to go in there somewhere. Fame or industry fame, still a relationship goal. Be a lead, uh, leader. Be calm around others. Attract positivity. Save the world. Hunger, poverty, health, um, addiction. This is your altruism. So here's like 25 um, relationship dreams that you can pick from, and you can come up with your own. I'm just going to copy paste. Like, the best ideas come from like brainstorm first and exhaust the ideas that you can come up with, and then put them into your headline. So this one's going to be desires. What did I have here? Um, size 20. Size 20. So as you can see, like, I'm not so much a computer expert. I'm a marketing expert. I come up with marketing ideas to build leads. And that's how I get, like, a ton of leads crazily. So desires. Hang out with friends. Get home early to see my family or partner. Go on a holiday with friends or family. Plan a group activity. Have a lunch with somebody. Play golf <laughs> together. Business network with like-minded people. Laugh more. Maybe everyone's too serious. Alone. Oops. I know that. 
a lot of people in our lives can be too serious. Alone time? Quiet time. Everyone shut up. <laughs> it's quiet time. Then, um, just see more people, see less people, feel safe, secure, hold someone. It's a relationship goal. Have a set routine, reconnect. There's been a fight. Let go of negative people. Just let them go. So these are all things that can juice up your headlines to get your 100 leads. Um, my favorite headlines are slightly trashy. Give a present win and arguments. Um, be forgiven. Be right. <laughs> Be acknowledged. Have secrets. Well, you're in space, perhaps. Have no secrets. <laughs> um, and to know what to expect. And I'll share this file with you when it's done. So, I'm going to go to another page. Fears. Was it so? Like, guys, this stuff will really, really help you with your marketing. Just brainstorm. Just like, I'm just brainstorming with you. And I'm not that smart, but I'm like awesome at what I do. I get amazing results because I just do this stuff. Dying, dying alone. Um, annoying people. Is the fear that they're, like, they're afraid of annoying people. Or to either be around people who are annoying. They're just headline ideas, so how you phrase it needs to be clear. Being hated, because they're people pleasers. Being ignored. Being frightened by others. Being bullied. Arguing. Being seen. Large crowds. Maybe the anxiety around that. Confrontations. Others dying, they're like terrified. Being wrong, it's a big one. Partner cheating. I'm not saying you're going to use all these ideas, but um, it's good to have these ideas, it's good to brainstorm them. Being forgotten, dating. So when should you do a list like this? It's when you're not getting 100 leads a week. That's when you should be doing a DDFFs, when you're not doing 100 leads per week. Um, being an imposter. Being exposed, secrets, revealed, they'll see me, they'll find out about me. Being alone, being controlled, um, being ashamed of themselves. Being laughed at, massive one for people, massive phobia. Being physically hurt, having to rely on other people. Being let down by those people that you don't. People not understanding them. It's like, no one gets me, no one understands me. Um, perfect headline candy. People love this stuff. Last one in relationships. We're going to go to... Frustrations. Like, you can see it's not that hard. So, obviously, like, um, well, I wrote this list in about half an hour, and then I lost the file. <laughs> but it doesn't take that long to write these lists. Um, constant harassment. For me, when I mind, sell me an ebook that says how to spell. <laughs> I'll buy it from you. <laughs> um... Constant questions. Like, why do people keep asking me questions all the time? Like, they won't leave me alone. It's literally, it's a problem that people have. There's money out there once you um, drill down into, like, what they're wanting. What's bugging them? Not you, your skills, your abilities. Like, I'm so good at this that I can help you with something. Drop all that to begin with. It's that 
what's bothering you, what's going through your mind. This is what the whole DDF is, the DDFF is. Being ostracized, difficult conversations, misinterpretation, being expected to join in with something that they don't want to do. And you guys are doing great, like just keep doing this and you will get leads, absolutely. Letting people down, too much physical contact, and those of you getting leads, I'm loving it. Too much noise, a lack of connection, pushiness, people going like, you have to do this, like, yeah, no I don't. Confusing people. It's similar to kind of like people not understanding, but it's just different language for the headlines. Being expected to do weird things. And people can interpret that how they like, but if it's what the market wants, it's what the market wants. What's next? Um, not being celebrated. So, as in, like, um, you go, check out what I've just done. And you're like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. I've got my own problems. Have I told you about my problems yet? Like, dude, I just told you about this massive achievement that I had. Where's my well done? And, and so that's a big frustration that people have is that um, people not celebrating their wins. And so, like, that could be, like, an awesome ebook title. Um, what to do when people aren't celebrating your wins or seven steps to boost your energy when the people around you don't celebrate your wins. Do you see, like, how all this works? Not being listened, listened to. Being made wrong all of the time. Do you get like how frustrating this is for people? And how much they're going to see that and go, Oh, that's what I want. That's the one that got my attention. I want that. People not changing. Miserable people. Blech. Positive people. Blech. <laughs> Um, rude people, late people, annoying people, people who don't care, being the only one who cares. This is brilliant headline candy, not understanding people. It's like I'm embarrassed and ashamed because I never get what people are quite saying. Um, the next one... Health dreams. Right. And as you can tell, we're not making a flashy video here for you guys because um, it's really it's time to kind of drop the whole I need flashy videos to learn and go, well, just do the work, earn the money, help the people. We're big people now. <laughs> So become fit, a health dream. Ooh. Okay. Number one. Become fit. Number twenty six. Number two. Lose weight. Okay. Number three. Look better. That's it. Number four. Win competitions. Number five. Get better at sport. Run better. Breathe better. Fit into clothes. Massive, massive dream for people. Lose a dress size. Drop a dress size. Gain confidence. Become more attractive. Get up to date. Perform better. Get through it. Get that promotion. Be a role model. Get a flat stomach. Get abs <laughs> or a six pack. Be more flexible. Look great at the beach. Be more independent. It's a dream. Not have to rely on everybody. Love their body again. 
feel amazing. Run faster. Date again. Perform romantically. So, this stuff is so possible for you guys. Like, just to give you an idea, like, just yesterday, I did something like um, $1,700 in my F+. Plus. It was going to be more, but, like, someone um, needed a payment plan. And this is just for hypnotherapy, not for coaching. Like, not coaching, like, with you guys. But um, if I can do this, you can do this. <laughs> I am not special. I'm basically just someone who's just doing the steps that I'm asking you to do. And so that's why, like, those of you that are smashing this out, like, you're winning. And the reason you're winning is because you're just doing the steps. So health desires. Eat what they want. Have fun. Swim. Um, say yes. Some more offers. Play with their kids. So that's a health desire. Like, they want to be healthy enough to play with the kids, to keep up with their kids, to not be puffed when playing with the kids. Play sport. Last the day without getting exhausted. Lift heavy things. Be handy around the home. Do their job. Run their business without running out of energy. Feel the joy. Enjoy their holiday. So you remember like with the last um, headline generator video that we did, we basically had like with like headline templates where it's um, something like, here's a number in an advert, it's like seven steps to, and it's like, this is the desires column, and like, how to um, play, like, how to um, play with your kids, and then there's the um, objection without running out of energy. So, like, if you go to, like, the, the fears and frustration section, and it says running out of energy and getting puffed, you combine a dream and a fear to make an ultimate headline that people are like, that one, that's the ebook that I want to download, they get onto your database, it will not be selling your program with confidence. It's so straightforward. Live stress free. Trust their body. Wake up refreshed. Massive dream for a lot of people. Sleep through the night. Get to sleep fast. Cook well. Have a great routine. Recover quickly. Achieve twice as much per day. <laughs> Think clearly. Look forward to the day. Feel at peace. Next. Um, fears. Fears. What are they afraid of with their health? So before I do it, just having a think, like I said, what is it that someone's afraid of with their body, with their health? Loss of mobility. A massive one. Never getting better. Dying early. Being judged for their body. Being alone because they feel unattractive, unconfident. Getting cancer, actually dying, getting in the SEMA, losing confidence, getting worse, unable to even think straight, because the brain's part of the body. If the body's unhealthy, the brain's unhealthy. Complete overwhelm. People not understanding the health condition. I know, like, a lot of people have that, like, where they're like, what's that thing you've got? Like, that's ridiculous. Like, why don't you just get over it? It's in your mind. And you're like, no, it's real. Social embarrassment. Being a burden to others. Being labeled. And worried about being called a name of some kind, perhaps. Not understanding what is wrong, like what is actually making them sick, what's actually the condition, losing time, losing money because they can't do anything, losing productivity, all fears, feeling guilty, making a scene, 
missing out on holidays, missing out on life, physical appearance, and the cures could be worse than the problem. I think there's no number nine in, in this area. So nearly there. These are awesome, awesome headlines. Like, feel free to steal anything you want, but just make sure that you're doing this stuff yourself as well. Make sure that you're brainstorming. Because, like, I don't always know exactly what you would help people with. Frustrations. You're doing awesome, guys. Just keep it up. Do your DDFF. And enter beast mode where you're like, I can do this. Absolutely, I can do this. Feeling sick. Feeling tired. Being overweight. Nothing is fun anymore. Because they're always, well, maybe chronic pain. Uh, chronic pain. Okay, any more is two words. Headaches. Sore muscles. Weak muscles. Getting out of breath easily. Getting teased for physical appearance. Fears of theirs. Smelling bad. Could be an odd better thing. Pimples. Nearly there, dude. Nearly there. Stress. Headaches. Being on camera. Massive fear for people. Or frustration. Feeling, or both. Feeling ugly. Toilet urgency. Or what they call keyhole urgency. Do you know like when people get to the house... And then they panic about putting the key in the door because they need to go to the toilet. And it's like the more urgent it is, the more their dexterity or their ability to use a key um, goes down. Poor self-confidence. Getting teased for appearance. So I know like I'm maybe making some very similar, but they're just different wordings. Can't keep up with their kids. Always hungry. Big fear. Frustration. Not enough time to eat healthily. So remember like I was talking about the headline generator? It's like how to how to lose weight and keep up with your kids, even if you have not enough time to eat healthily. Awesome headline. I want it for me. Believe that they can uh, don't believe that they can become healthy, they just don't believe it, always missing out due to illness, like, where's your partner, where, where are they, oh, they're sick again, like, oh, that's embarrassing, addictions, because it's a thing that people do get embarrassed about, that smoking, overeating, over drinking, I remember like a video that um, I did that I got 70 new leads off, in a day, it was a hundred seconds, like a minute forty. I'm making a joke about with me and my brother that like we're we're really heavy drinkers because um, we're on our second pot of tea for the day. And seventy new phone numbers. We didn't even put money on that one. We got seventy new phone numbers. It was amazing. Habits running out of time to get it right. Boom town. Okay, so I'll um I'll make sure that there's a link um under this video so that you can download this guide, but from there, if you can't make a headline from there, then you can't make a headline. <laughs> the headline generator, remember, like, number, as in seven steps, adverb two or how to, discover, learn how, um, the promise, which comes from your desires or from your dreams, lose weight or find the partner of your dream, uh, time frame, in six weeks or in six months or Easily, and then the, you know, the adverb easily, also an adjective easily, amazingly, uh, simply, or like, and then the objection, which comes from your fear of frustration, without the need for patches, pills, gum, sprays, 
uh, burnouts over, like, you know, even if you don't have enough time to, to get all the steps done, which is a good um, objection handle at the end of a headline. So that's where, like, when we came up with seven steps to switch jobs to hypnotherapy before Christmas without burnout, we did our DDFF to come up with that and put it through the headline generator. Anyway, I love you guys so much. It's awesome um, being able to do this with you, for you, and you can do this. You just have to, um, it's worth it. Spend the time to do your DDFF. Like, I've just done one with you. Like, you saw, like, what's it taking? 25 minutes. Um, I know, like, it took me, um, like, maybe over half an hour to do this the first time that I did it. I printed it, lost the file, kept the printout. But um, I could have done one in 12 minutes if I really just pushed it. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you so much. Do your DDFFs. Get those leads. I want to hear lead stories. I want to see videos from you guys going first. I pledged to get 100 leads in a week, and then I want a follow-up video going, I pledged, sorry, no, I, I got 100 leads in a week. I want to see a video from you going, I got 10 leads in a week, as soon as you get it, because you're motivating each other, you're helping each other, you're lifting the industry up together, you're inspiring each other, and I've been seeing some massive wins in the group, and I just love it, you're doing so well. I'll talk to you guys soon.